Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro and I'm joined by Haman Riza. Haman, good to see you again. I yeah. think we last met in Abu Dhabi. Um, how's the project developing? How's progress? Yes, uh, the project uh, is coming along very well. Uh, we are now at the stage where we have completed all the enrollment mm -hmm. uh, of uh, 145 million people. Yeah, <coughs> uh, Some people probably uh, are away or uh, couldn't come to the local enrollments. Right. Uh, so that will be something that we uh, are uh, waiting for. Uh, to take place. Yeah. But anyway, uh, majority of the people has uh, come to the enrollment station and we were uh, very successful in mm -hmm. uh, in doing the, the duplication of the my biometrics uh, mm -hmm. of the, the citizen and also producing the card and you know send it to the and delivering uh, it people right. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> we are looking now still uh, uh, daily enrollment is coming along like 70,000 people per day uh, throughout Indonesia mm -hmm. and we are targeting by the end of this year the whole uh, enrollment uh, can take place so we will eventually arrive at the number of 172 million right yeah it's amazing isn't it <laughs> yeah and, um, and <coughs> once you've done that it becomes a process of rolling out services to them and providing yes. them with uh, right. with benefit what's right. the yes. what's the progress on that yeah uh, you're very right, uh, right on that uh, having uh, electronic ID is the just the first stage I would mm. say yeah we have to move of the utilization of this EID, uh, or we call it EKTP in Indonesia, mm. uh, toward the, uh, the greater service for the people. That means that we will use this uh, EID as part of our verification of uh, our next act election in 2014. Okay. Uh, we will have a, a presidential election and also parliamentary election in 2014. Uh, where that would be the first time, yeah, uh, we, we hope that uh, electronic ID uh, biometric verification will be done at the polling station. Okay. Before you vote. Yeah. 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 Okay. We will Very do good. Uh, a manual voting system. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We are not going to embark on electronic voting, but at least before you, you know, as you know, uh, so many uh, times uh, there are many fraud and forgery mm. uh, during the election yeah, and that's because yeah. you can actually balloon the voter list yeah. and things yeah. like that right? yeah. so we expect by having this EID have a our, we will have a better, yeah, yeah. better election yeah. And an idea is that access to democracy is a yeah, is a cornerstone that's, that's the right, to the that's the to right the word process. to say. <laughs> yeah. uh, next thing uh, that uh, we are moving from our national uh, level toward our uh, regional. Okay. In 2015, uh, as you may know, uh, the Association of Southeast Asian Nation, which constitutes ten, ten countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Southeast Asia, we'll basically form the ASEAN community, yeah. And one part of that is to have an IT or ICT master plan, right? Uh, and uh, electronic ID uh, is part of that, really. Uh, I would say this is a, a bigger challenge for mm. us, you know. Uh, just like in uh, Europe, probably, yeah. where you have interoperability yes. among, among yeah. those countries, that becomes right? The key, doesn't yeah. It? So yeah. Uh, we we would like to have something similar to that in mm. in, this, uh, in the certain sense in those regions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, like you know, when you are uh, moving people in the region, yeah. uh, whether it is labor, workforce, and other things, uh, goods, and other things, yeah. We should be able to to do this uh, more yeah. 
digitally. Yeah, and the and <laughs> the uh, yeah. absolutely, and the other nations within that within that organization. Yeah. What kind of progress are they making towards having their own well, some, uh, electric? Well, some some of them are uh, already uh, way ahead. I mm -hmm. mean, like Singapore, for example, yeah, they have a sync pass. Yeah, you can use their your ID to to have many services on yeah. the, on the web, yeah, uh, yeah. on the government website. Uh, also, uh, the Mal Malaysian mm -hmm. uh, MyCard, yeah, yeah. I, having. Uh, so many services uh, based on the use of uh, this okay. ID. Okay. I think uh, other than the, that, we certainly would like to have something more into the social welfare of the, mm. our, our, our people. Yeah. Uh, for example, how you verify and justify uh, the uh, subsidy program. Yeah. Yeah, and make sure it's delivered yeah, yeah, to the yeah. to the right With, people yeah. at the right so time. Using the ID and biometrics, probably mm. that will be a more legitimate yeah. <laughs> use of yeah. Uh, yeah. of IDs. And yeah. these and these projects only really work if the citizens really feel they're getting something for it, getting some services, getting exactly. some value. Exactly. What is the feeling like in in Indonesia? Do you yeah. think? Um, yeah, a lot of uh, hesitation actually uh, mm -hmm. during this uh, couple of years. Yeah, uh, I mean. This is just another idea, and whether oh, this is uh, a project-oriented uh, case for the government, mm. or just uh, getting a lot of uh, big uh, funding yeah. for a certain project. What is the benefit for for us, for the individual? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then we try to explain yeah. the difference between the older uh, ID that you have yeah. and what is the benefit of having a, a chip in your yeah. card now. Yeah. Okay and uh, whether it is uh, secure, whether it is private, mm. or whether it is uh, a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, for a layman, uh, people in the village. Uh, it's quite complex. Uh, a peasant, yeah. Uh, probably they say, oh, do I need uh, such kind of uh, digital ID? Mm. Yeah. Then you have to say, okay, this is how you go. Yeah, uh, this is what and, you can access. Yeah, and what, what kind of benefit you can yeah. get yeah. from this. And unfortunately, you have to have the infrastructure there before you can provide the services. Yes, so yes, yes. Um, it takes some time to prove what you've said to the to the people. Exactly. Is is exactly. is enrollment compulsory? Yeah, enrollment yeah. is uh, compulsory. Yeah. So we put a specific time frame. Yeah. Uh, for a certain uh, province or regions, mm -hmm. uh, in the first phase there were like 176 of them. Yeah. Uh, in 2011. Then we moved to 300 uh, other district mm -hmm. regencies uh, in 2012. Okay. Uh, and during that time, the local government have to really work, yeah. you know, around the really clock just to yeah. to uh, uh, to let the people get yeah. their enroll. Yeah. To and be enrolled, collect their yes, data. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, it's an exciting project, and it's obviously going to yeah, roll yeah, and roll. Yeah. And I look forward to sure. speaking. Maybe in 12 months' maybe, time. And, uh, maybe, maybe in yeah. yeah. Hope or in to Abu see Dhabi you again in uh, Abu Dhabi, yeah. uh, where um, I'm expecting that our uh, Ministry of Interior okay. uh, will be will be in attendance. Then there and probably uh, give you the, the latest, latest insight. Uh, yeah, insight yeah. Of this fantastic. Project. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you Good so much.